Hello all, my name is Yvonne Hume and I am an art education major at CSU Pueblo. I have always loved art since I was a child. I attribute this love that I developed for art from the influences of my family while growing up. Of one great significance was the memories at my great grandparents' house in rural Georgia. They lived in a beautiful neoclassical architecture home built in the 19th century. The house had large Doric columns with beautiful carved Victorian era ceilings in the living room. Their home overlooked a garden with a fountain in the backyard. Thinking about those days and how it has impacted who I am today and the work I create, I realize that much of my work is about the human connection and how we are all linked. Most of my work today showcase the people that are special to me in my life, places I have traveled, and express my feelings and or experiences. This drawing is an oil pastel of my husband fishing in the Arkansas River. Again, I enjoy drawing or painting things that are close to me or have some significance in my life. I love to use lots of colors and oftentimes my work is a blend of realism and imaginative components. This drawing here is a multimedia self-portrait that has aspects about my root and where I'm from. This one is an oil painting of my cat smelling sunflowers on my kitchen counter. It's entitled Strolling Along the Kitchen Counter. Although I started to draw in junior high, I did not dive into other mediums until I started my college career at PCC. This is my first acrylic painting. Here's another acrylic painting that I created at PCC. This is my first landscape painting that I did at PCC. It's also in acrylic. At PCC, I realized that I wanted to work as an art educator because I enjoy working with other people and tinkering with different mediums as it relates to fine art. The line of work that you see in this portfolio is comprised of many different disciplines, anywhere from drawings, paintings, to ceramics and photography. This is a graphite drawing of a still life that I did at PCC. I recently traveled to Bishop's Castle with my husband. I snapped a picture of a flower that I thought was unique on a hike. I love that flower so much that I created a painting out of it. The painting is on an 18 by 24 inch canvas. I used acrylic paints as my medium and the triadic color scheme of red, purple, green, yellow, and yellow. I wanted to indicate the mood of the day with my brush strokes. I remember that there was a slight breeze that day, so I placed yellow dabs of paint around the flower to indicate that breeze that I did feel. Many of my other pieces comprise of a similar method. I draw from personal experiences, but attempt to communicate the feeling of what I experienced with a stroke of a brush or the color, um, or the color of the paint I choose could also indicate the mood or how I felt. Here you see a portrait photo that I took of another student this is the before and after editing with Photoshop. I took photography at CSU Pueblo. Here's a landscape photo that I took during golden hour. This is the before and this is after editing with Photoshop. This is a photograph of a pine cone and a fork and this piece we tinkered with broad and short lighting. In the, in the photography class, the most important principle that I learned is that the light is your medium. The next series of slides you will see is a process of ceramics work that I created at CSU Pueblo. This set is an environmental justice turtle teapot set that I created.
Their turtle teacups were both well thrown and hand built. The cup portion was thrown and the body of the turtle was hand built. I attached the cup using the scoring and coil method. And here is the complete set. The teapot was well thrown. The idea behind the concept of the turtle teacup set is that hopefully world leaders may be able to sit down for a cup of tea and discuss ways to reduce man-made waste. I use the turtle as my subject matter as marine life is often the victim of unnecessary human pollution. Here's an example of a process that I took to build a sunflower napkin holder. First I drew several different designs. Then I chose a design that I liked the best and use the slab method and hand build method to create the napkin holder. Here is the end result. The last set of artwork you see is my most recent work. I recently just gave birth to my first child. I created a series of paintings using watercolor and gouache while I was pre pregnant. <clears throat> I wanted to communicate what I was going through and the connection a woman feels with her unborn child. This one is of a mother holding a baby in the hospital. This painting is of a mother nursing her child, another aspect of motherhood that bonds her to her child. This one is the process that I took for my skin to skin painting of the series. It starts with a drawing. Then I began to paint with different values with gouache for the black and white portion of the piece. And here is the end result. The flower and the background is <clears throat> to communicate uh, motherhood and the possible of the unknown, like the universe represents the unknown. The last one is actually of me imagining what my life might be like with my unborn child, looking at his sonogram. Many of the colors and patterns in this painting is, a, is significant, and it represents how I felt about looking into the future of a hopeful but unknown path. Thank you all for viewing my portfolio.